This is the solution to written homework 28. Okay, so I'll change this just slightly to the integral 1 to 2 and then 1 multiplied by the logarithm of 5x dx. And I'm going to write it that way because I can see that I'm going to have to use by parts. I'll reckon this as being the algebraic part and this a logarithmic part. And as a result, I'm going to take u to be the logarithmic part and dv to be everything else. So then du is 1 over x dx. So you should check that. And then v is x. And the right hand side of by parts is saying that this should be u v evaluated from 1 to 2 minus integral 1 to 2 uh, of v du. Okay, so on this specific exercise, that is, so uv, so log 5x, x, from 1 to 2, minus integral 1 to 2, v du, so x times 1 over x dx. Okay, so the x and the 1 over x, they cancel. So this would be log 5x, x from 1 to 2, minus integral 1 to 2 of just dx. Well, that integral represents a rectangle. Uh, so that's a rectangle of height 1, because it's 1 dx, and of length 1, because it's 2 um, minus 1. So that's just a fancy way to write 1. And this is what? Uh, if you plug in 2, that's the logarithm of 10 times 2 minus the logarithm of 5 times 1 uh, like that and then minus 1 so that can be simplified just a little bit that 2 can be brought inside so that'd be the logarithm of 100 minus the logarithm of 5 and then minus 1 and then that's the logarithm of the quotient 100 over 5 and then minus 1 so that's logarithm of 20 minus 1 uh, for this one uh, well we can do a substitution I'll do w is x squared plus 2 So dw is 2x dx, but I don't need that 2 on the right-hand side, so I'll move it to the left. And since this is an integral, I'll change the limits now. So w, when x is 0, is 2, and w, when x is 5, is 27. So the correspondence here is that the stuff in the radical, the x stuff in the radical is going to be covered by that w. All of this x stuff outside the radical will be covered by this differential stuff. And then these x limits will be converted to these w limits. Okay. 
Okay, so making that that change, that's now integral two to twenty-seven. Uh, x dx becomes dw over 2, so this would be cube root w, and then dw over 2. Okay, well, that half can come out, so that it's half integral 2 to 27, and then I'll express that cube root as fractional exponent 1 third, and then now we can use the power rule. So this is half w to, well, one third plus one, that's three, which is three thirds, so that's four thirds is the new exponent, and then divide by four thirds. Evaluate from two to 27. <coughs> And then <clears throat> simplifying this a little bit, division by uh, 4 thirds is the same as multiplication by uh, 3 fourths. So this would be uh, 3 over 8 w to 4 thirds and then 2 to 27. So that would be 3 eighths. And then what? 27 to 4 thirds minus 2 uh, to 4 thirds. And the 2 to 4 thirds can't be simplified uh, easily, but the 27 to 4 thirds can. 27 to 1 third is 3, and then raised to 4. 3 to 4 is 81. So this would be 3 eighths times 81 minus 2 to 4 thirds.